Hello, I'm Tracy. And I'm Travis. We're two Americans who just moved with our miniature husky, Tabasco, from our home in Texas to the city of Leiden, the Netherlands. We're not quite sure what the future holds for us, but we're excited to share our journey with you. Today we are in the beautiful city of Harlem, and we just uh, got some really cool hot chocolates from Choco. The Choco Company? Yeah, it was really, really tasty, and we met some really cool people that will hopefully help us out with a video that we've got coming soon. So uh, stay tuned, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Absolutely. <laughs> and I think we're going to explore a little bit of Harlem today. Yeah, a um, little bit of a disclaimer. Um, we both have had a rough couple of weeks uh, in terms of our health, and I'm feeling a little under the weather today. Thankfully, both of us figured out it's not COVID, um, so that's great, but just some sinus stuff, so I apologize for my voice, but we still wanted to put out a video. Yeah, we wanted to, mm. to explore Harlem. It sounds really cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go. Saturday in Holland, yeah. which means that it is market time. Now, I'm not sure if the market is actually bigger than the one in Leiden. It feels bigger, but maybe it's just more spread out. I think it's actually a little... Well, so the one in Leiden is all around the canal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas I feel like the one here is just like right... It's, it's more of what I would think a market would be, where it's all lined up row to row. Yeah, it, I mean, it looks like it just keeps going and going. And it's all in the, the shadow of this beautiful church. Like, absolutely gorgeous. Like, what a beautiful city. We're going to a really cool place for lunch today. It is an old church turned into a brewery. The Yachtin Brewery? Yeah. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So Tracy did some research and found this place. It looks really, really cool. And uh, I hope that's tasty. Yeah, after being sick for so long, um, I feel like a crisp, cold beer is just the ticket to making me feel better. We just got done with the uh, Jopin. 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 is a old church turned into a brewery. Yeah, super cool. It's beautiful inside. The big stained glass windows are all still intact. It's brick and super cozy. And I think they brew everything. Like, we could see the, the pots where they were brewing everything, like, right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was really, really neat. Super excited we found this. What is this? Uh, Hof Hofia? Which I think it means courtyard. Yeah, um, really neat little secluded area right off of the major shopping street here. It's a nice little break from the chaos. And Tracy may have found a cat. Well, let's talk about dinner tonight. Yes, so when we were researching places for dinner, I stumbled upon a restaurant called the Louisiana. And <laughs> you may not know this, but Tracy and I have a kind of a unique tie to Louisiana. We may, we may have mentioned it in another video, but... We got married in New Orleans, one of our, our favorite cities. We had, I think, about the best wedding we could possibly have hoped for there. It was really great. Um, we had a great time. Yeah, and really leaned into the spirit of New Orleans. 
we love that city. The people there are so resilient and so friendly and welcoming. Um, and walking through the French Quarter kind of reminds you of being in Europe a little bit. Absolutely, especially a little bit of France and, and how that experience is. But with that, they have some traditional New Orleans dishes. Mm -hmm. So I'm very curious to see their take on gumbo. Yep, gumbo, etouffee. Mm. Um, they have some classic New Orleans cocktails, which we're interested in trying out. If you didn't know, the Sazerac was invented there. So I'm very excited to try that out. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's have some dinner. Yeah. had dinner at the Louisiana, mm -hmm. which is a Louisiana concept restaurant here in Harlem. And it was just okay. And we realized that, <laughs> how do I want to put this? We're tough critics. We are tough critics because we've spent a lot of time out there and it was okay. Um, I think they need to work maybe on their concept a little bit, but the music was lovely. It definitely transported us back. Uh, to the if, city. You, if you shut your eyes and just <laughs> think about it for a minute, you can you can kind of feel a little bit of the French Quarter. Yeah, there. I guess it was just a little confusing trying to figure out like why that concept. But you know, the people there were really friendly, really nice. Uh, they definitely tried really hard to make sure that we felt welcome. Yeah, and I'm not even mad because we have second dinner right here. Probably the most New Orleans thing you can get in all of the Netherlands <laughs> is olive oil, which is the closest thing to beignets that we found here. So I'm just gonna take my sick booty home and cuddle our pup and eat these. And that sounds like a lovely way to end the day. Right. So we're here in, mm. actually we're at the train station, but we're outside, so uh, we don't have to wear a mask right here. With that, what are your thoughts on Harlem as a whole? It was lovely. Um, you know, we, when we traveled to Amsterdam, we passed through the station, and immediately I was taken with the beauty of the station. It's definitely the prettiest uh, station that I've I've seen since we've been here. It may be the prettiest station in all of the Netherlands. Uh, it's also like one of the oldest. Yeah, yeah. Um, so really, really nice. Um, the city was lovely, super walkable. I loved getting lost on all those tiny little streets. It turns like every street you walk down, there was a cute little street here and there with some lines running across it. It was just really pretty yeah. the whole way through. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm excited to come back. Maybe when we, next time we come back, we can stay the night. And um, We did have, a, I don't think we talked about this, we had a great cocktail before dinner too. Yeah, we went to Bar Wigbolt. 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 Yes. And it was <clears throat> really cute. The, the, the cocktail I think there was maybe one of the the best ones I've had outside of Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah, really tasty. Um, I would love to go back there and spend spend some more time Two there. Two hours, <laughs> just chatting, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so definitely lots of reasons to come back. I am so ready to get back home to Tabasco. We've been watching him. We have a little camera that we can see <laughs> at home and I'm ready to see that little floofy pup. Yes, I am so ready to cuddle with him and dig into these bad boys and just take care of my sick self <laughs> a little bit so yeah with that I want to thank you all for coming on this journey with us uh, we definitely enjoy all the comments so please leave us a comment like subscribe all of those things um, to hit the notification if you want to get more alerts about the video. So we, we have some super fun content coming up in the next couple weeks. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited about this really, actually. Really, really, really excited. So stay tuned. I'll be taking you to some other places in the Netherlands mm. and maybe somewhere outside.
Yeah, it should be really cool. <laughs> Thank you all. Bye. Bye.